Hey everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator and do not adjust your sets. You are taking a look at a Peterbilt 389. This particular 389 is is SCS's take on it. So we're so pretty much this is a stock in game truck. We're hauling a 42,000 pound load of tires up to Fairbanks from I believe we're in San Diego. So quick overview of the, the front end. Here's our hazards. Turn our lights on brights those actually look pretty good those i'll say this those lights actually look better than the 389 lights on the vi on the uh 389 mod but the only bad part is you can't change your tail lights so you're stuck with the the shitty ass ones there so let's go ahead hop in it and get the show on the road shall we okay we are in our peterbilt pretty nice very clean well done by scs turn the power on gauges light up look good and and our indicators are right down there but nice amount of that's what we're gonna set that on gauges are very similar to the w900 but i believe yeah peter built in uh Fuck. I'm trying to think. Uh, Kenworth are owned by the Packard Group, so their vehicles are going to be very similar to begin with. So, all right, let's go ahead and turn that on. Are we in trouble yet? Nope, we are not. So this particular truck has a 13 speed, and it unfortunately does. I don't like the steering wheel. In all honesty, I think that steering wheel looks like shit. I like the one that's in mine better doesn't look like it's really attached it is but it just doesn't look it very well all right now here's a question ew wimpy horn there we go the good horn turn our high beams off there there we go All right, keep our engine brake off because we don't need it on right now. And we need to turn left out of here. So I'm going to co come over here since nobody's here. Swing all out very hard. Anybody coming that way? No. There is somebody coming that way, but I'm already out. So, oh shit, that's going to hit. Didn't hit, but fuck. Alrighty. I always fuck something up trying to pull out of the those. Those it happens. No damage on anything yet. So this is such a heavy load. I most likely should be uh, using the uh, low gear to get going. But. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. It's Thursday. We're almost there. We are almost there to the weekend. So, oh, and you guys are going to be wondering why the two videos came up today. One, my, uh, my summer car episode came up this morning, and then you guys are getting this. Well, my summer car was supposed to be yesterday. It's just, it took almost three hours for my computer to fucking render it, and I had already gone to bed. <laughs> Actually, no, I admit, I went upstairs, I I went to upstairs around 11.30, and it had about 45 minutes left. I was going to go to bed. I ended, ended up watching almost the rest of the uh, Game 7 of the World Series, just enough to see the Indians come back, and then uh, go into a rain delay, and that's when I just said, fuck this shit, I am going to bed, I am tired. So, nobody's coming, since we could turn on left... And it's late. I like this truck. Don't get me wrong. Um, this is a very nice addition, addition to the game. But I do like the mod a whole lot better. 
and I like my truck a whole lot better than this one. We're still just like the modification modded reviews. We are going to take. We are going to build one of these. How, how I'd be able to build it right now? I'm like a mod level 15, 16, so I do not have everything unlocked yet. Uh, and I'm gonna go down here and turn instead of cutting over here, cause I can. Uh, and we'll build one of these. How I would drive it, and most likely how I will buy one and set one up on my multiplayer account when I eventually decide to start playing multiplayer again. Which actually might be soon, so I can drive this truck at least in online. We'll see. I should kick it into the lower set of gears, but I'm going to just keep going. Eh, it's at 1100 RPM. That's okay. Wow, that was a very fast fucking light. All right. Holy shit. Who thought that this... I, I was like, hey, quick little run. This will be fast. And it seems like it's taken forever. I was going to record going like halfway across fucking Canada. But ended up, I grabbed a 389 day cab. The 389 day cab for the mod and the, the stock one looked the exact fucking same. So I couldn't tell the difference until I loaded it up. So... Oops, shit happens. Oh well, life's a bitch, then you die. What else is new, you know? So, not a big deal, not the end of the world. Ugh. Okay, there's the airport. Excite, because I am not missing this light. There you go. Cruising around in my fucking P389. I do like the 379 headlights a lot more than these 389 headlights, but the, unfortunately, you guys will see when I build one, the 379 lights are not available, but they do have another option if you do not like the look of the 389s. Actually, the headlights on this look pretty damn good. I will actually say about the only thing this truck actually would have up on the mod are the headlights just to me they look a lot better maybe the viper that maybe i think it's viper he'll update his truck and use the headlights off of this maybe maybe not i think he i personally think he would he should because i think the headlights in this truck look better but but i still don't like the look of the 389 lights so i would end up getting the fucking uh 370 or 359 ones anyway so <laughs> So, for with my opinion, you could give somebody a quarter and call somebody that really gives a rat's ass, you know? Right. Oh, fucking uh, cruise control still on. No wonder. I was like, ah, uh, what the fuck? Oh. All right. Coming up on our turn off here to go to the airport. Hmm. Pulling in. I will say I do like this dashboard a little bit. I like how the indicators are down there right above the of the thing that actually looks really cool instead of up in the uh little driver's information center so that's actually also kind of cool i like how that like that one a bit better too we're going up to fairbanks so embark i clicked on it there we go All right. Put that in low. Turn our wipers on here. And I think we're turning the wrong way, but I really don't care. There we go. There's our exit. 
very gray out. All right, which way do I need to go? I need to go. Oh, shit. The road's right there. All right, we're going to spin tires this bitch. That's actually something I kind of miss playing. I might play spin tires. Maybe. Would you guys like to see another uh, run spin tires series? Maybe me doing another map? If so, leave a comment below. That might be something uh, fun to do. Just something different, you know? All right. Nobody is coming from either direction, so just keep on accelerating. We'll go ahead and take this left. We'll go all the way down to get some more roads unlocked here in Fairbanks. And I easily could have just stayed on the main road and got that unlocked, but whatever. Oh, okay, okay. There we go. And there's our destination right there at the before I think that'd be when we're heading up we be yeah, there, 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 there. we would be heading up towards Prudo. All right. Nobody's around, so why why deal with traffic laws, right? <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's a little tear in the map, it looks like. Or something. Uh, either that's a tear, or that's spo that looks supposed to be some sort of a pond. Okay, I cannot cut that. All right, you're gonna let me. You're awesome. You are awesome, dude. You are awesome. All right, we are at our destination. We are at our destination. That is where this truck goes. So we'll pull in. Well, I gotta pull forward and we'll back it up. Straight, pull. Yank the sucker straight. There we go. Stop. In reverse. All right. Just heard something weird. I think somebody messaged me or something. Yep, somebody just messaged me. Oops. Anyway. Pull this out. We're going to go ahead and uh, go over to the Dila and build ourselves one. We'll see you over there. Okay, we're at the Peterbilt dealer. And here is a stock... 389 as it comes in daycare form from SCS. <laughs> so let's go ahead and build ourselves one. Go ahead and go with the low roof sleeper. Cause that actually looks pretty slick. And because we can, we're going to go with the 300 gallon tank because more miles. Let's see. The biggest engine you could get is the 500 horse MX-13. So that's the motor we're going to go with in that. Got to have the 18 speed Eaton Fuller. So we'll go with that. Interior. All right. We have Ultra Ride and Premium Ultra. 
Eh, I'm going to go with leave it in, on the black interior because the black and gray looks pretty good. All right, we got some stock colors, red, blue, black, white. Got yellow, custom, a nice metallic, red, blue. And then all these different uh, paint schemes that you could do and customize your own. That actually looks pretty slick. Uh, that one I actually I really like too. And maybe do some sort of a custom thing on that. Wait, can I do the turbo custom on this? You can. Oh, that is sexy. That is sexy. That is what I'm going. That's what I would go with on this truck. Ho 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 ho. Ah, uh, I might have to excuse myself for a couple minutes here. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So go up here, and you can now individually change these lights. So we're gonna go with uh bullet light lighting here. over the standard ones there we go bullet lighting bullet lighting bullet lighting bullet lighting and that actually looks pretty damn slick if i may say so myself that's those adapters let's see mirrors pa Ooh, painted definitely because look they put the paint job on that okay i will say that's slick okay we'll go with that only because it's adding more to the paint job. I think that looks so nice. All right. Go with the painted mirror. What about here? Eh, yeah, we'll go with that. There's that one where you can put that on. And they also have a little bit of paint on them, it looks like. Okay. Actually, those I'm going to switch to chrome because the paint doesn't look like the uh, doesn't look quite right oh wow. you could do different things I think I am going to go and eh, that doesn't look right we are going to go with the painted exclusive there we go that looks nice what about this we got something new now nah, we'll keep it like that Ah, uh, the bumpers. Bumper modern. Bumper modern with flares. Okay. We're bumper standard flares. We're going to go with this. All right. The grill. This is where it changes things. Here's standard. Here is exclusive. And honestly, that with this paint job, I have to go with that. I have to go that route because that looks so, so sexy. Uh, go here. Go with chrome. Yeah, that looks good. All right, now we got to do the wheels. I am not going to put modded wheels on here. I could easily. We're going to just go ahead and stick with uh, these. They're going to go with, looks like Seagull Chrome. With... Those lung nuts. Let's see. Eh, we're going to go with that because we're going to put a hub cover on here. Exclusive chrome. Ooh, this is Peterbilt, so do that. Oh, that looks good. Let me do this so we can pull that off. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Unfortunately, you can only do the, the standard mud guards. Let's see. For the back, let's see. We're going to go with wide seagull chromes. Uh, let's see. I think I didn't, I did not change the tires up front, so I'm going to go, but I am going to go with vortexes on the back. We're going to come back up here and put vortexes on the front. There you go. Do this. Then come back to the wheel. Nuts. Go with the Duke Chrome. Hub does is not really necessary because we're going to be doing putting that on. Let's see. And the Wide Seagull with those and that. Ooh hoo hoo. Just got to do this. And back here, there's I can only go between black or white. 
and honestly, I'll keep those as black mud flaps. Uh, what can I do right there? Passenger side mirror? Eh, no. What about this? No, no. Where's the thing for the exhaust? There it is. Okay, we can do that. Go in here and ooh. Ah, premium ultra ride. That's the grill. That's that. Go back to the wheel. Ooh, we could put the spinners on here. Eh, don't need a spinner on this really. That's the hood mirror. That's that deflector. That was a chrome. Ooh, we need to go out here and take a look. See, is that paint? Okay, that's okay. That still looks good. Uh, let's see. No, 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 no. Fuck those. Fuck that. I want to. I. I'm got. I do not like that steering wheel at all. That's the only thing that's really hurting this truck. Is I hate, hate, hate that steering wheel. That one looks better, but that still looks like shit. Okay, let's go out here and take a look. Wow, that is a very pretty truck. A very pretty truck indeed. I am liking this. Maybe this might be the truck you might see me driving in in, Amer in uh, ATS multiplayer videos. Who knows? But that is all I have time for for this episode. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, please subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, guys, have a good one.